Hey guys, it's Di, and this is going to be the 15 month update for Natalie. And we just had her doctor's appointment, so we thought we would do a quick update since we're only doing them every few months or so now. And both the kids are asleep, so we'll be having cameos in here apparently. This is Isabella, who's not a 15 month old. Um, but Natalie's stats, she's on pretty much the same growth curve, so pretty much still a tiny little peanut. She is 2 feet 5.5 inches tall, which is about the 18th percentile. And she is 18 pounds, 11 ounces, which is about the second percentile. So she hasn't grown much weight-wise since the last time we were in there, but Isabella did the same thing around this age where she kind of plateaued um, weight and height-wise from about right after 12 months to almost 18 months, and then Isabella hit a growth spurt then. So I'm kind of expecting the same thing to happen for Natalie as well. So this is kind of the last nine month outfit that we have that she's still wearing. And then most of the things that she's wearing right now are 12 month clothing. And I'm pretty much anticipating at this point, unless she has like a major growth spurt, that she's gonna be in 12 month clothing over the spring and summer. Can you smile and say, ah, ah. You can see she's got lots of teeth. She's dismissing one on either side up and down. But other than that, I've lost count on how many she has. She has the full set for front, top, and bottom, and a bunch of her molars in. So she's only really missing a couple. And I think she's going to go play. She'll probably pop in and out too. And so her teeth have been coming in quite steadily. And then other than that, she's still kind of a picky eater. She's still kind of a picky eater. She um, is not a super huge fan of fruits and vegetables, which is not a problem I had with Isabella at this age. So we're still trying to kind of find inventive ways to get her to eat a variety of foods because she mainly likes crackers and that sort of thing. <laughs> She's back there playing with her little cash register. I don't know if you can see that back there. Anyhow, so she's developing a lot the past few months as far as what she's interested with as far as toys. She and her sister are interacting a lot more with playing with toys, fighting over toys, learning how to share and that sort of thing. She's pretty much interested in most of the toys that we have. She uses the kitchen, she uses the zoo, the zoo animals. The, the princess castle Thank behind you. me, okay. these cupcakes. Thank you, Bella, that Bella has right here. Natalie will take these apart, and then Isabella can take them apart and put them back together. So she's really pretty much interacting with all the it's toys in the playroom. To so that's a, a fun. Hum, num, num. That's fun, you know, to kind of see them develop and use a lot of the toys. So other than that, um, she's still kind of a fairly fussy baby, which at this point I really had hoped it would be diminished by the time she was a year old. And I'm really just starting to think it's her personality. She's had kind of a rough month. Um, she's had a kind of a rough run of it over the whole winter. She's had a number of ear infections right in a row. She just got over one ear infection and the doctor put her on antibiotics for an extended amount of time because he didn't want to go into an ear infection again and then that gave her a yeast diaper rash so it's just like one thing right after the next thing with her so at a certain point I think she's just a little bit fussier baby and she's a very like kind of pickier personality than Bella was so she's a little bit tougher in that aspect but on the other hand she's had like a whole bunch of ailments one right after the other so can you blame her for being totally cranky all the time not 100%. Um, but I do think that she's just a fussier personality overall. Bella was very easygoing at this age. Natalie is just a little bit more particular, we'll call it. Are you more particular about what you like and don't like? And then I think that her hair is going to stay light. She still has light hair that has a bit of curl to it. She still has blue eyes, which I think are going to stay blue, because Bella had gray eyes for the first Share ladies. You get to see the non-sharing in action here. Um, Bella had gray eyes for the first year, and then they turned brown. And so I do think that Natalie's eyes are going to turn, uh, are going to stay blue at this point, because they haven't changed color. We'll see. But then, this is just pretty much how she is. You know, I do a lot of editing with my vlogs, because I don't want her to be... I don't want to, number one, look back on him and all, all I see is the fussiness. So I do edit a lot of it out. Um, you know, but I don't want to portray like an inaccurate version of us necessarily. But at the same time, you know, I don't want her to be like labeled the, the cranky child or anything like that. Even if she is like the cranky one now, I still have the hope that she'll grow out of it a bit. So um, we'll see. 
I'm hoping that once she starts talking more, that'll help. She's saying only a few words now. She still says the ba 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 stuff over and over, the mama. She's not really that interested in, you know, learning words for specific things like Bella was. Bella was very verbal, especially by this point. Um, but I'm thinking it's, again, a personality issue. Everything with Natalie has gone from zero to 100% within, like, a day. So I'm really honestly not that worried about it right now because, like, with everything else, learning how to go upstairs, uh, eating, dropping the bottle, it's basically been one day she's not doing it the next day that she is. Crawling, walking, everything has been like that. So I'm thinking that she pretty much will just do that with everything at this point. She pretty much just decides she's going to do it one day, and that's how it goes. So 15 months she's walking. I guess that's one thing she wasn't doing at 12 months. She was just working on, she was pulling up and that sort of thing. So she's walking around. You guys have seen my vlogs. And um, that is her main mode of transportation. Now she occasionally goes back into crawling, but it's, it's probably less than 5% of the time at this point. So pretty much motoring around really well, and she's definitely more focused on gross motor skill. I would say Bella is my fine motor skill child, and Natalie is my gross motor skill child. Um, she loves to throw balls and, you know, things that use her gross motor skills. Climbing, she loves climbing. Uh, so she definitely likes those type of bigger movements and things like that. Not such a fan of the picking up tiny pieces of things and, and examining little hairs and all that kind of sort of thing. Is there anything that you would like to add? Would you like to see anything? Have you had yuckies on your nose this whole time? Uh-oh. That's the other thing she started doing. She'll go, uh-oh. And I think the other one is uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, she makes those two noises. So she simulates noises a lot more than she actually forms words. But I'm not going to really, I think, get worried about it until we get, honestly, between 18 months and two years. I just think she's going to be a later talker than Bella was. So that is Natalie at 15 months, and she's still in the baby stage, but you can tell every day she's more and more like a toddler. I think really the biggest point that I noticed it with Bella was around 18 months, where it's really kind of the transition period where they really are like, wow, they're, they're a toddler now for sure. So we're just going to enjoy the next few months and look forward to spring. I'm really excited about the spring and summer because I think it's going to be a lot of fun, even more fun than last summer was. Because now that they're both older, we can go to parks, they can both play on the play equipment, we can go for walks in the stroller, we're going to get some special cars um, that they can, you know, kind of motor around in while we walk around our neighborhood, and they've got the tot rods and things like that, so I think it's going to be a fun spring and summer. So that is Natalie's 15-month update. Everyone's gone around the corner, so I'm going to see what they're all doing, and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.